In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fake timeline. And I think this is going to be perfect for incorporating this into UI animations. So with that being said, I'm going to take you straight to After Effects. And let me show you how it's done. It's extremely easy to create. I'm just going to real quick show you the comp settings. All right. So the first thing we need to do is basically grab the rounded rectangle tool and we're going to create the first shape. So we need something along those lines, but we definitely need to play around with the settings a bit. So first I'm going to go to the fill color and I'm going to change it to solid. And then I'm going to turn off the stroke. Also, I'm going to change the roundness so it's not as intense. And then as for the color, Color, I feel like we could actually grab the picker and use the shape color. Let's hit OK. I'm going to recenter and let's say we're going to put it here. Then we're going to duplicate, put it above. And what I'm going to do is change the color of this one to something else, like maybe red. All right, let's hit OK. Also, as for this one, I'm going to uncheck constraint proportions and we're going to play around with X. OK, seems good to me. I'm going to check it back on. Let's put it somewhere here. We could duplicate, put it like that. We're going to duplicate again and let me just put it somewhere here. I'm going to play around with proportions again just to make it more realistic all right we're also gonna play around with the colors a bit let's just pick something different okay and we're also gonna change the color for this one i feel like we could bring something like purple to this layer all right so it's already starting to remind me of a timeline i would probably just grab this one uncheck constraint proportions and play around with x all right then we're gonna create a position keyframe for all of them so i'm gonna hit alt shift p let's move it forward and we're just gonna bring it from different sides just like that. Okay, I'm gonna select them all, go to the Grav Editor and we're gonna ease the keyframes. I'm just gonna make sure that the pig is on the left. It's already looking pretty sick, especially when the movement is very slow at the end. And then what we're gonna do is go to switches, we're gonna turn on the motion blur. I'm gonna pre-compose all of them. Let's call it timeline, hit enter. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna add glow effect to this. All right, let's play around with radius a bit. I'm just trying to find the sweet spot here. Ooh, that's actually a pretty cool look, but we're gonna leave it like that. Pretty cool, but you know what? I'm just gonna go back here and we're just gonna make it a bit faster. I changed my mind. And just to top it off, we're gonna create a 3D animation out of it. So I'm just gonna put it below the timeline. I'm gonna turn it into 3D, then we're gonna create a new camera. I'm gonna pick a preset of 35 millimeters. I'm gonna actually leave the two node camera. I'm gonna hit okay, put it below the AE logo, and we're gonna create a new null object. Let's rename, turn on the 3D over here. We could actually change the color. And let's create some separation between the timeline and the logo. Just like that. I'm gonna bump up the scale. Then I'm gonna hit T and we're going to decrease the opacity. Okay, then I'm going to head over to the cam control. I'm going to hit Alt Shift P. We're going to move it forward. And we also need to parent the camera to the null. I forgot about it. So now we're able to actually move backwards. And also, as you can notice over here, it's kind of cut off. So I'm just going to head over here. I'm going to hit Control K and we need to increase the pixels for the width. Actually a bit more and we should be good. Okay, it's starting to look pretty cool. I'm just gonna apply a graph to this. So I'm gonna easy the keyframes, go to the graph editor, and we're just gonna create a peak on the left. So this is already so sick. Then obviously we need to add a little bit of shakes. I'm gonna head over here, transform, alt click point of interest, and we're gonna add the expression wiggle 1, 15 maybe. I'll probably go for something more intense like 1.3. All right, we already got a dope animation. I'm just gonna turn on the motion blur on this and let's see the whole thing. All right, so we got a brilliant animation with solo effort, absolutely love this one. So this is literally a perfect animation to incorporate it into UI. So yeah, I highly recommend to go for it. And without further ado, I'm gonna wrap it up here and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers guys.